60 years ago, hunting drove Eastern Australian humpback whales to the brink of extinction. And a subsequent ban on commercial whaling meant the species thrived. It's now been taken off the National Endangered Species List, but rising ocean temperatures mean tens of thousands of whales who migrate every year from Antarctica to Australia may soon be unable to get enough food to sustain their long journey. From a few hundred Australian humpback whales left, today there are tens of thousands after commercial whaling was banned in the 1970s. It's good for business. Whale watching season in full swing. These giants migrate from Antarctica to the top of Australia and back again. A journey of more than 3,000 miles. They've been on the surface, peck slapping, head rising, tail lobbing. Incredible. It never loses its potence. It's, uh, it's an amazing experience. Also amazing, knowing them the way Wally Franklin does, spending decades individually identifying and photographing whales as the population bounced back. It was a remarkable experience to be able to watch as the Eastern Australian humpback whales were covered. They're now almost back to 40,000, which is where we believe they were before whaling. And that's just wonderful. But there's trouble ahead for the humpbacks. The problem for these whales is global warming. Water temperatures are rising and the population of krill, their main food supply, is falling. So that means that these whales are having to adapt fast. With a bird's eye view, scientists can tell if they're losing weight. Less food means less energy. So these whales aren't traveling to breed as far north as they used to. What is the long-term fear with climate change and its impact on the whales? Yeah, so we're worried that um, the animals are actually starting to starve, so they're getting less food supply. And the long-term effect could obviously be that the number of whales are going down in the future. Uh, but we don't know that yet. It was here. We should be somewhere nearby. Even tiny flakes of whale skin skimmed from the sea could hold answers. I think we're going to see drastic changes in the next five to ten years. We have a stabilisation of the population now, and now the question is how will these animals cope with climate change? How will they adapt to these changes in the ocean? Once almost lost, these denizens of the deep are back. But there is danger in an ever hotter planet. <laughs> 